Hello and welcome to the Chilled Investor. This is not financial advice, always do your own research. In today's video, I'll be looking at Lloyds Banking Group. Now Lloyds are a huge group, made up of Lloyds, Halifax, Bank of Scotland, MBNA, Black Horse and Lex Auto Lease among others. So now we take a look at the financials. So we take a look at turnover first. And as we can see, it's very much up and down every single year, fluctuating all over the place. Although we are talking big numbers here. And then next we take a look at the profit after tax. And again, it's exactly the same sort of story. It's up and down every single year. But again, we are making big profits. Next we take a look at the non-current assets. And as we can see, aside from a drop in 2018 here, it's gone up year on year, coming to a total of 269 billion. And then we'll come down to the current assets, and we can see this one has built most of the time year on year, except for 2020, where it dropped off a little bit, but it has since recovered quite a bit to almost 539 billion. Next we take a look at liabilities and we can see that there's nothing listed for current liabilities so we go straight on to the non-current liabilities. Now as we can see with this it has risen most years. 2018 we had a drop but then after that it's moved up and up to a total of 833 billion. So that is quite a lot of money but they do still have good equity and we can look at this equity and see that again this has been quite strong throughout keeping around the 50 odd billion sort of mark and ending this time with 53 billion pounds in equity with a book value of 55p a share and currently trading at around 42p a share it looks like good value and it comes with a financial score of 47. i'm currently using the trading 212 platform for my trades as they don't charge commission or a yearly fee. If you would like a trading 212 account, just use the unique link in the video description or the comments and we'll both get a free share. So now we take a look at the dividends. And as you can see here, it pays two dividends per year and dividend cover is approximately 2.2. So then we look onto what the dividend yield is and we see a nice yield of 5.7 although it could be stronger. And next we look into the annual dividends. And when we look into the annual dividends, we can see the started paying again in 2014, and it's risen for a few years before 2019 where it dropped off and 2020 where it dropped off. But as we can see, it's come back strong for 2021. This leaves Lloyds with a dividend score of 32, Added to the financial score of 47, it gives it a total of 79, putting Lloyds into third place on the board. So, what do I think? Well, I think Lloyds are a huge group with many different aspects to the group. I think that with strong financials and interest rate rises, Lloyds represents a good, solid investment. Although I would like to see better dividends, but this does have a potential to rise in the future. If you found this video useful, please think about subscribing and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if there's anything else you want me to discuss stocks and shares related please feel free to drop us a comment and i'll see what i can put together thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time